in this question this is a combination of work energy and collision what happens is that this mass m travels down this is the bob of, of mass m it travels down it picks up another object of mass small m at this point the other mass sticks to this mass and the combined mass rises to height h we need to find out this height h given these data now for solving this question let us first analyze the motion of this mass m from point a to b now from a to b for m work done by external forces is zero because the external force is tension and the tension is always perpendicular to the displacement which gives the work done by tension to be zero there are no internal conservative no, non conservative forces due to which work done by internal non conservative forces is also zero there is work done by conservative forces but that will be handled by the potential energy which we take into account therefore potential energy at a plus kinetic energy at a is equal to potential energy at b plus kinetic energy at b let us take potential energy equal to zero at this level at the level of b for simplicity therefore potential energy at a is equal to mgh kinetic energy initial was zero is equal to potential energy at b is zero plus kinetic energy at b let the mass m come down to level b with velocity v therefore this is equal to half m v square therefore we cancel m and m to get v is equal to root over 2 g h so we remember this result now let us handle the collision this mass m comes down with the velocity root over 2 g h it collides with another mass small m and the other mass sticks to this mass so this was the initial motion the final situation is that these two mass stick to each other and collectively move together with a velocity v dash so since there are no other external forces acting on these two objects there is actually an external force that is equal to the tension in the string and the uh, gravitational force but these forces are very small and their effect is negligible for the small duration of collision therefore we can apply momentum conservation ethically speaking momentum conservation is only applied on the system when the external forces on the system are zero in this case though the external forces on the system were not zero but since they were so small because conservative forces are small and multiplied by a small uh, time interval their effect is very negligible therefore we neglect the uh, conservative forces and we apply momentum conservation on this system to get the result m into root over 2 gh that is initial momentum this is equal to m plus m v dash therefore we get v dash as m upon m plus m into root over 2 g h now we know the combined mass of the system at the lower most point this is v dash now again let us analyze the pendulum motion this will rise up to the point till its kinetic energy becomes zero now again from this point to this point we can again apply mechanical energy conservation by applying mechanical energy conservation from this point to this point we get this is b this is c potential energy at b plus kinetic energy at b is equal to potential energy at c plus kinetic energy at c v dash is equal to m upon m plus m root over 2 g h we can write this potential energy at b is equal to 0 plus half m plus m v dash square is equal to kinetic energy at c is 0 therefore this is 0 the potential energy at g is g is m plus m g h the same plus m gets cancelled we get h is equal to v dash square upon 2g by substituting the value of v dash from here we get 
एच इज इक्वल टू एम अपॉन एम प्लस एम होल स्क्वायर इंटू टू जी एच अपॉन टू जी दिस टू जी टू जी गेट्स कैंसल्ड तो गिव अस द रिजल्ट एच इज इक्वल टू एम अपॉन एम प्लस एम इंटू एच एम प्लस एम एम अपॉन एम प्लस एम होल स्क्वायर इंटू एच बाई फीडिंग इन द वैल्यूज बाई फीडिंग इन द वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन फ्रॉम अब वी गेट एच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मीटर्स सो फाइनल आंसर इज द फाइनल हाइट टू विच द कंबाइंड सिस्टम ऑफ एम प्लस एम राइजेस आफ्टर द कोलिजन इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मीटर्स